channel if this is your first time and if you've been here before welcome back but today we are talking all about how to build a landing page using ConvertKit. A while back I did this tutorial where I shared my whole screen on Instagram and I went through the entire process of building that landing page. I thought this would be the perfect time to bring that back because on my podcast, Dreamers Den Podcast, I am talking about how to monetize your website, how to set up that entire system and set up your sales funnel and build that landing page so that you can make repeat sales from your website. So I'm going to share my screen again and go through that process of building your landing page and I hope you guys find it helpful, useful, let me know if you do, post it in the comments and I will talk to you guys again soon. If you're in your convert kit and you go to landing pages and forms and you click on create new, then um, you will have the option to either create a form or create a landing page and you're going to choose landing page and as you see here you have tons of options to choose from for the different styles and different layouts and um they make it really simple you know really easy for you to just plug in the layout and once you get to it you can um you can customize it or make the adjustments um, as you need to, just like I did with this one. And you have the option, as you see here, to choose the type of layout you wanna use based on what you're offering and what you're giving away. But um, I chose, you know, something really simple that I could customize and this is how it turned out. But I'm gonna go through um, the elements that you need to have a successful landing page. Um, first of all, you want to start with um, with a product or service, like I said, that your audience needs, that's gonna solve their problem, that's gonna help them with their pain point, um, and you want it to be, you know, something of good quality. So um, that's the first, um, that's your top element, of course, and this is going to be to communicate that to them and to get it out there for them. Now, as you see the layout that um, that I chose, it gives you the option to put a photo here, or you can use this spot to actually provide like a screenshot of um, something of your lead magnet or something similar to your lead magnet to give them an idea of what they'll be looking at or what they'll be getting. Um, um, though these are all the options here of how you can customize the background the image you can add your own image or use unsplash um, to add an image here um, you can change the font but um, we'll go through all of these all of these and all of that information so you want to make sure that you make a bold statement with your headline um, and you want to make sure that the content you have on here is not spammy and that is just telling them exactly what they can look forward to and what they're getting. And you want to make sure that it will be approved by, um, like if you're using this in conjunction with any social media ads, make sure that this content is, you know, they have a lot of rules. Um, some people have a hard time with getting their ads approved. So make sure that if you're connecting the link to this landing page to your social media ads make sure that um the information that you're putting on here is going to be approved and that um you know that it's not vague that um you're basically telling them what they're getting but you know you're not making any, exaggerating any guarantees either so um for my bold statement um, it's just saying ready to get your free guide um, and you can say get your free guide just something that's basically reminding them like I said um, if you listen to the podcast you know that I've I stated to make sure that it's reminding them or giving them a recap of what they're getting um, and how it's going to help them to solve their problem and you know give a few details about the benefits and features of it so here i bullet pointed out 
you know that they'll be getting the business brainstorming worksheet. And I told them it's a simple questionnaire to help you use your hobbies, interests, and strengths to identify what business fits you. And then 50 types of businesses you can start online. Um, get 50 low cost business ideas you can start right away, you know, right now to make money. So, and then you end it with a call to action letting them know what they need to do to get this offer so it says just enter your information below to have your free download sent right to your inbox because you always want to close it out with a call to action letting them know what you know tell telling them what they need to do so um you know and i kept it simple here name email address and then make sure the button button stands out um you know use a color that kind of helps it stand out from the rest of the details and i kept it simple and, and said subscribe but um you can change that some people say get you know get download get free checklist you know some people say give me uh i want in it's you know it's different things that however you know you want to jazz it up just make sure it stands out and make sure they know that they're clicking this button to get these items or these um, offers that you get you have for them. Okay, it's a guide. So, um, also, let's go through some of the settings here. So. Um, on here, you have different areas that you can show them the success message, which is a simple message. You can redirect them to um, an external link, or you can redirect them to the thank you page, which is what I chose. And they give you the option to create a thank you page that's very similar to your landing page. And it simply says, thanks for signing up. But this is an opportunity to give them to add more value to what they're getting or to add another offer. So you can use this to send them to more content, more details about their offer. Like you can tell them to go visit the blog or you know, go, you know, you can go visit this blog and you may find this help helpful for solving X, Y, and Z or your podcast, whatever type of content it is. You can say, hey, follow me on social media to find more free tutorials if they're on, they aren't already doing that. But you can also use this to sell, you know, to start the process of warming them up on sales. So um, this one, for instance, says, you know, your dream business brainstorming guide is on the way. In the meantime, check out this Pinterest pen template bundle um, deal for $9.99 versus $19.99. Um, and just make sure that it's something that um, is related to your offer. You can offer them something in conjunction to what they're getting to solve their problem. And, you know, it's make sure it's on sale, make sure it's a good deal. And um, it'll warm them up to the process of, you know, further buying things that will enhance solving their problem. Um, Okay, so let's go back to the main page. And um, this is where you would add your download here. <clears throat> but also I wanted to show you um, here in the settings, I, this is really cool. If you're using ads, um, as we kind of talked about before, you can add you can connect your google analytics you can connect your facebook pixel or your pinterest id tag and this will keep up with the activity of your audience and so um you can this is good to know you know who was interested who wasn't and also it's good for retargeting so that if they were interested and they chose to buy you can track that and you won't send them the same offer over again, but you can also track who wasn't interested in who chose not to sign up for your email list. And you can go back and tweak your offer or you can go back and send them another offer because it's just, you know, it's 
possible that they just were not interested in this offer. But it helps that tracking information um, helps you with your selling process. So I mean, that's really cool. Um, and you have the option here under share. You can copy this link and you can simplify it in bit, Bitly. Um, or you can create a page on your menu in your website, create a custom, a page with a custom link and you can copy it and add this link there. Or you can use the plugin here that they have in WordPress and create a page on your website and actually embed this um, in your page so it, it stays on your website. So you have a lot of options. Um, to put this landing page in different places as I kind of discussed on the podcast, those different options that you have um, and where you can put this landing page. So um, once you finish everything and all your customization, um, you click save and it's there and it's live and you can share it. You would then connect it to your email sequence um, your email sales sequence and then you would make it an automation. So in, in your sales sequence, you would have your um, emails laid out. You would have your emails laid out for the product or the service that you're selling in conjunction with your um, this free offer, this lead magnet that you have. And then you would make an automation so that um, some type of activity triggers this sales sequence to automatically go to the people who sign up for this form. So you would click, in automations, you would click new automation, and then you would click create automations. Now they have tons of templates. They have tons of templates that you can use, but um, if you um, created your own sales sequence, you would just use, um, click, choose what activity you want to trigger this sequence to automatically go to these email subscribers. In this case, we would choose join a form, but let's talk a little bit about the other options. Um, when it says it's added to a tag, for instance, if you had a convert kit form on your website or in a blog post and you have it set to add a certain tag to these um, email subscribers, then you could choose this option and choose that tag. Or if you already have someone on your email list and you have a link in um, within your email, your email broadcast, and you have it set to where anybody who clicks this link is tagged with a certain tag, then you could you know, select, have that tag selected and then it would automatically start a sales sequence for people who have clicked on that link. Purchase, if you have a WooCommerce store or any type of um, online store, um, when people make a certain purchase, you can start um, a sequence and it doesn't necessarily have to be all about sales. It could be an upsell or it could be another offer, but it could also be instructions or um, different information about what they purchased and just something that's going to help them, you know, common questions that they may have about the product, just helping them and guiding them through um, using that product, tutorials or things like that. Okay, so let's get to join form. So you click join form and then you would click add event. Uh oh, I got to choose the form. <laughs> so we just did the dream is brainstorming, the design checklist. And then you would choose um, whatever action you want them to take. And in this case, it would be um, email sales sequence. Then you would choose whichever sequence you want, you know, you want to add those them to. And then once you click add action, it would look like the visual automations that I already have set up. So, you know, it's, it just walks you through when they sign up for this then this is the sequence that they get. And um, as you saw, there were other, there were other types of um, automation that you can set up, but when you're talking about selling, um, that is what you, that's what you wanna choose. 
um i hope you have found this helpful in helping you with the you know the elements that you need to have a successful landing page that generates leads and that helps you close sales and you can use this to start building your dream online business even before you set up your website so um, if you have any questions about this, pop them in the comments below and we'll talk about it. Um, but thank you guys for watching and um, let me know if you found this valuable and let me know what other types of information um, within this building sequence that you'd like to hear about.